Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Why is the steering wheel down here? I don't That's know. That's awfully low. I'm driving one of those one cars. A clam car? <laughs> no. That's the only thing I could think with oh the steering wheel down that gosh, low. Oh my gosh, a clown car. <laughs> Why a clown car? Because the steering wheel is no. down there. How would you know? I don't know. How do you know that? I've seen them. Like in parades and stuff and they go and drive around. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show and happy Wednesday to you. <laughs> Uh, we are happy you guys are here with us today, and uh, we have two videos. Yeah, because we're that. We're those people. I don't know what that means. Because <coughs> it's December, and we're going to do two for you. Just like the whole month of December, we're going to have Magic Mondays. I'm about to say, we're not doing two every video. No. no, not every video. Okay, cool. But we will have a Magic Monday for you. I started sweating. Like, I'm never sleeping again. <laughs> we are going to have Magic Monday every Monday in December, as Debbie said, and I am just repeating things. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are our two videos we are going well, to do today? Well, before we do that, we would love you to do the likey like button. It makes us very happy. And this gets really annoying when we ask you. So blah, 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 this thing, mm -hmm. be really blah, 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 and blah, 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 and thank you, and blah, 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 and yeah. And thank you. And <laughs> if you don't mind to subscribe to the channel, it really blah, blah, blahs us. It makes us really blah, 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 and sometimes I blah, blah, blah in my pants. <laughs> What? what? I said blah, blah, blah in my pants. <laughs> Can I take that out? I don't know. That's funny. I have no idea what to do. Just go with it and smile. Nod and smile. Okay. Moving on. So, yeah. Today's episode. We have two. <laughs> First video is, why are manual cars popular in the UK? Hmm. That is a good question, and oh, I, have I think I know. often wondered that. I think I know. But I do want to find out the information. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Second video is why stick shifts, which is what we like to call them in America, mm -hmm. are going extinct. Now, that's more of a U.S.-based video, which I thought the title, that sounded very interesting. We want the full story here, people. We don't want just half a story. Mm -hmm. Now, also, it surprised us to hear so many of our British friends and European friends say, hey, Americans don't know how to drive manual. This one does. And this one does. And everyone I freaking know does, unless they're mm -hmm. below 35 or so years of age. Same here. Most of my friends, family, yeah. my age and around there, definitely know how to drive a manual car. I mean, yeah. I, I'm an American muscle car girl, for God's mm -hmm. sakes. My my dad and all his brothers, they worked on cars. They customized cars. They were definitely car they people. Were, I, I grew up in Always a in car. the garage. Yeah, I grew up in a car family. Debbie's got the big rig going on today again. I do. The bear. BJ and the Bear. I was surprised when she wore that one video that you guys um, have watched that over there too. Didn't know? Love that show. It was one of the best shows. Anyway, speaking of best shows, Natasha and Debbie show. Mm -hmm. We're going to start that right now. I'm in a fairly typical street in the UK. Let's take a look at what people are driving. Here Let's is a do Ford Fiesta. And that is a manual. Hmm? Let's take a look at this mini across the I'm street. I'm sorry. I totally forgot we are in... Not America. <laughs> and the wheel's on the wrong side? Uh, well, for us, it's the wrong side. It's the correct <laughs> side for you, but it, it's on the other, it's on the different side. That just messed me up. I like how we're just going on a street and looking at random people's cars. And <laughs> I, I would not appreciate that if that was my car. Please do not look at my car. <laughs> and I did look both ways, although the camera didn't. For what? Sorry, random question. Is the steering wheel on the boat on the other side also? Or is it on... The side that I'm used to. So sorry. No drugs were used in the making of this episode. <laughs> Across the road, that is. And that is also a manual. Yeah, still, don't I'm mess me up again, even though it was coming. This Fiesta because I just looked at that one. So, don't need to look at two Fiestas. Let's go and have a look at this Citroen DS3 instead. Is that a manual or an automatic? Also a manual. Now, there is a Mercedes C Class down there. Check I believe that is automatic because it's the E model, which means it's going to be hybrid. I'm going to have a quick run mm. just to confirm. Oh, he's actually running. I would just edit that yes. part out. C350E. So that is going to be an automatic. 
but this is a much more expensive car and it's also still fairly young being five years old yeah five do your maths richard mm. all petrol and diesel cars need gears some change gear automatically for you and in others you have to change gear manually yourself correct all mm. early cars were manual and, and the so automatic cool. gearbox didn't wow. start to become widely available until the 1930s and 40s, or at least widely available in certain parts of the world. But that's 80 years ago. Why is the manual still so popular today? And in some markets such as America, the automatic has been the norm for some time now. In fact, in some states, you can actually pass your driving test in an automatic and be allowed to drive a manual. I can only get. Mm -hmm. So you can't there? It kind of sounds that way. It sounds like that you have to be able to drive a manual to pass your test. No, to be able to drive a manual. Yeah. Let's rewind that back. Yeah, yeah, true. Let's rewind that back. <laughs> I want to hear that again. The norm for some time now. In fact, in some states, you can actually pass your driving test in an automatic and be allowed to drive a manual. Yeah. Yes. That's not normal over there? Mm. I feel like I've heard that once before, maybe on Facebook Live or something. Maybe. That's the first time I'm hearing it. <laughs> Must have been huh. I wasn't home. Interesting. Please let us know. Okay, that's interesting to me. Yeah, mm. you don't have to be able to... I mean, you can drive whatever uh -huh. as long as you drive that car in your test and you get your license. Yep. And then you have your dad scream and yell at you, you're going to burn the clutch! <laughs> And then they teach you how to drive yep. your, your manual. And also, you just true. burned the clutch. Good job, Natasha. Wait, I didn't do it. Don't tear up the clutch. Let's get going. <laughs> okay, I'm hitting the button. I can only guess this can be allowed because there's so few manuals that it's not a major safety concern. Nowadays. But mm. in the UK, most small, cheap cars are manual. So if people in the UK could pass in an automatic and then drive a manual, we would have somewhere between 500,000 and 700,000 new drivers each year passing okay. in automatics with no manual experience, mm -hmm. taking to the road for the first time in their manual. Yeah, we do that all the time. And in a country that has a population <laughs> a of only around 67 million, that's a lot of drivers who don't know how to control their car. We have 337 million, so, <laughs> but maybe that's why the younger ones don't drive them. Uh -huh. It might <laughs> um, be. But no, I mean, honestly, like I was saying earlier, your, your dad taught you how to drive the manual mm -hmm. or your brother yep. or your brother's friend or... Yeah, you, you'd pass your, your driver's, your husband. driver's <laughs> test and then a friend or someone, like you said, would take you like out yeah. in the country or someplace where... Out in the country? <laughs> I make them well, out in the country. Well, on less, tra less traveled roads. We just went around my street a bunch of times. <laughs> I went out to the middle of nowhere and practiced on a hill. <laughs> That's a whole different type of story for a whole different type of day. Okay, this is interesting so far. I'm liking mm -hmm. this. Okay, and we're going to set the record straight too on what we know. Yes. Um, over here. So, but we might also be redundant and repeating some of the things that might come up in the second video. We'll see. That could be quite chaotic. In the UK, not, the manual gearbox is in decline. In 2010, 20% of new cars sold were automatic. And back then, that was considered a lot. That's not By 2018, 43% of new cars sold were automatic. Mm. But now, no. nearly 60% of new cars sold in the UK are automatic. Mm. So although new really, drivers are still opting to pass their driving test mm. in a manual, over 90% of driving tests are manual, the automatic is okay. becoming the norm. So mm. why has it taken so long for the automatic to start to take off in the UK? Well, it's quite simple. Traditional automatics with torque converters were big, heavy, and inefficient. That does not bode well with Asian and European cars. In the UK, we primarily use mm -hmm. Asian cars and European cars. However, in America, their cars are already big, heavy, and inefficient. They have big 5.7 litre V8s, which they call mm. the 350 cubic inch. With loads mm -hmm. of torque. Hold on now. That's not a common car that's driven by the average American at all. 
<laughs> These used to be a lot more common. Yeah. Um, not not now. <laughs> not so much now. No. I, I guess maybe more in some of the big, huge trucks. Uh, trucks and SUVs, the yeah. really big yeah. ones. But that's not your everyday American's car. Please don't let people yeah. tell you that it is. It's not. I drive a Subaru Outback. Debbie drives a mm -hmm. Subaru Crosstrek. Um, and that's that's about as big as we would ever get, which they're not small cars, but no. you know. They can do the work. So having a less efficient gearbox doesn't make as much of a difference. And gasoline, <clears throat> as they call it over there, is much cheaper. So having the convenience of an automatic makes more sense because the negatives aren't as noticeable. However, if you were to put a traditional automatic in say something like a 1.1 litre Ford Fiesta from the 1980s, it's going to drive like you've left the handbrake on. But in the early noughties or 2000s, something started to change. <coughs> it was out with the traditional torque converter planetary gear automatic and in with the robotized manual. Yes, hmm. automatics were no longer really automatics. They were actually a manual, but with a robot changing gear for you. So that got rid of the disadvantage of the automatic being less efficient and okay. bigger and heavier. They're almost the same size and same weight. The only disadvantage was the price. Normally it added around 1,000 to 1,500 pounds to the list price of a car. And they worked well in small cars with small engines as well. Mm. So when I was getting my driver's license, like all my friends around me and stuff, they all were getting manuals, mm -hmm. my brother included and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And the reason was they were way cheaper. Yes, manuals were, were a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, and but you'd also get a lower class vehicle too. You get a lesser sound system, you mm -hmm. know, because I needed my sound system. Yeah, they were more of the stock cars. Yeah, you would get a lot less low bells and whistles yeah. to the manuals. And uh, that would also make it cheaper too, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, but it was more, you know, either way. So I find that to be very interesting too at the same time. But now, well, good luck finding a manual here. Yeah, it's hard. We'll get into that, I'm sure. Therefore, opting to have the extra convenience of the car changing gear for you was no longer such a problem. Well, mm -hmm. it was actually convenient. Mm -hmm. And then the automatic started to become popular. And Japanese manufacturers started to use something called a CVT. I knew we were going It stands here. for yep. Continuously Variable yep. Transmission. They work well with big engine cars and low powered small engine cars. Mm -hmm. The only trouble is, is how they sound. Many people don't like the fact that it actually sounds like your engine is staying at a constant velocity whenever you put your foot hard on the gas. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes And in fact, in one of my videos, Mine does I made not the do mistake that. of calling it a constant velocity transmission just because I was so used to hearing that constant velocity of the engine. They work mm -hmm. well, they are efficient, if you drive gently, don't worry about it. But if you want to put your foot down, they're not very nice. So the reason why it's no, taken so long for automatics to become popular in the UK is simply because the technology to make a lightweight, low powered car, which is most of the cars in the UK, automatic yet still drive in a decent way, has only become widely available recently. Okay. Mm. But does that mean you shouldn't bother learning manual? You should just learn automatic because all cars are going to be automatic. Everyone soon. should learn both. Yeah. Well, the manual is going to be here for a bit longer than you may think. They're going to be sold up until 2030 minimum when the petrol and diesel ban comes in and that ban huh? essentially bans manual. However, that may be delayed. Huh. You never know, but let's say the ban happens in 2030 then really? those cars are still going to be on the road for 10 to 20 years after that. Mm -hmm. Right. So the manual car will still be popular for quite a while yet. Getting a manual license does give you the freedom to drive whatever car you want. Wow, However, I didn't realize that they're going to be extinct in like 20 some years. Well, I would think wow. with um, more of the electric cars coming in that the electric cars are not going to be manuals. Not true. Okay, that's interesting. So if they're going to get rid of the gasoline or petrol cars. No. Um, V6s, so those kind of disappeared too in America. Oh yeah. gosh, 10, 12 years ago? Yeah, that's like um, I a love, big engine for your car now. Yeah, and I, I, that's the cars I used to drive a V6. Mm -hmm. And I'd go out when I was looking for a car, I don't know, however long back. 
Couldn't find them. It's always nope. just like the turbo engine. Yep. And you got to go to four cylinder turbo. Yeah. And I'm like, this is stupid. I want my V6. Come on. <laughs> so I'm just curious. Is that the same over there? Please let us know. We're going to have questions for you. So in the comments, sure please will. tell us. Of course, learning automatic is easier. But so is there learn. another advantage to driving a manual? <laughs> With an or is it all just about the money? It's not just about the money. Mm -mm. It's about the experience. Yeah. If you're brought up around manuals, learn to drive a manual. Subsequently got good at driving a manual. Mm -hmm. And live somewhere where you're not constantly in nose to tail, bumper to bumper traffic. Well, see, that's you it. actually that's have it. access to some relatively quiet roads with a half decent speed limit. Mm -hmm. You may also enjoy driving a manual. It's not guaranteed, of course. Not everyone does. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But there are plenty who do. Mm -hmm. And as a result, with great British country roads, no. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Until did the car passed. Did I just jump? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care how many times we watch these. I don't think I'm ever going to be okay <laughs> with that. And I do love driving a manual car on a country road. Yeah, but not in the city. Driving it's a pain fast, in the ass. It is a pain in the butt. But driving a manual car on these narrow roads in the UK. Oh, you're going to do it. Though. Might prove a bit challenging especially because it's gonna be on your other side i know that's gonna be interesting that will be i think you'll be confusing. fine you're very smart debbie stayed strong for years oh oh hi. bicycle even though realistically the economy and how much people earn in this country <clears throat> means that automatics aren't really out of the question it is a bit of a choice <clears throat> now i could be driving down this road in an automatic but I know from experience, I won't be having as much fun. There is a sense of joy from the achievement of achieving the perfect gear change, the downshift rev match. Okay, I'm not like the that into it. rev match <laughs> under braking. Look, he's got the biggest. That's the on whining the of the engine. <laughs> and kissing the red line. He's such a dude. Well, you can do that in an automatic as well. Of course, yes, you can. Drive responsibly. And that's part of what makes driving a manual so special. I didn't break the speed limit there. Well, you're also driving myself. the car when you're driving a manual. You're not really driving a car when you're driving an automatic. No, you're definitely more actively driving. Yeah, um, which I think is the reason why a lot of people don't want to learn anymore. Mm -hmm. The younger people, they're lazy. They are lazy. In some regards. I'm not saying all younger people are lazy. Don't come <laughs> after me. But, you know, comparatively, they can be a little bit more... Uh, yep. instant gratification, you know, give me this, uh -huh. give me that kind of thing. So yep. I hope I didn't offend anybody. But yeah, I just think people don't want to put in the extra work sometimes. A very powerful automatic oh. mm -hmm. will shoot you up to very high speeds very quickly yeah, that without you doing time. much at all. Which leads you wanting to enjoy the speed as opposed mm -hmm. to the involvement. So therefore, to more driving speeding manual tickets. enthusiastically yeah, I allows so. you to have fun. Okay. Oh, that's narrow. Whilst being safe. Narrow. That was a car. Scared me. Something else to enjoy. Of course, manuals aren't for everyone. Some people just prefer automatics. I know both. Some people like auto. Some people like manual. A lot of people like manual for the same reasons I do, and many people like automatic because well, it's easier and. They're not really enthusiastic about driving. They just want to get from A to B. Mm. Whoever you are, doesn't matter. Enjoy your car. Oh, that's the next video already. Okay. Interesting. So, I mean, I feel like there's some points there that probably could have been more in depth. I think they could have. Um, but I think you did a, a good job touching on the, touching on it, giving us a yeah an idea. I, I definitely learned stuff there I didn't know in that whole situation with the... The driver's license, yeah. whether it was manual, if you got a manual license or an automatic license, that was. But news everyone to should, me. if you can drive manual, you need to mm -hmm. learn that way. Absolutely. I definitely think you should. My grandma would tell me about stories about how she had to like go and crank the front oh, of the yeah. car. <laughs> um, I've never had to do that. Luckily, well, thank God you're not that old, dear. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> okay, so this episode, uh, what was the name of this one? Why stick shifts are going extinct. And yes. it's more U.S. stuff. Like I said, I may mm -hmm. edit out some of it if it's if it's like repeating back some of the stuff he did. So we'll see. So here we go. 
Yes, please. Mm. This yes, please. is a Ferrari 488 Pista, and this is a Lamborghini Huracan, and this is a McLaren GT. These cars all have a number of things in common. They are all quite rare, extremely fast, and very expensive. I'll take them all. But they have something else in common that might startle some car fans, and that says a lot about the automotive industry today. Don't even say it. None of them can be bought with a stick shift. A one. None of them can even be bought that way? I did not know this. Two of those cars are in our neighborhood. Mm hmm. But to not be available with a stick? The in a manual? Gini and the McLaren. What? That's just. Okay. Well, that's the. Why make the car? <laughs> I know. Car enthusiasts in America will, like, they are obsessed with their manuals. Like, I'm sure in all countries, right? You but, would think. Dang. Okay, that's a bit of a. Thank you. Okay. Industry today. None of them can be bought with a stick shift, a once ubiquitous feature that is now in danger of going extinct. And a small but vocal tribe of diehard drivers seems to be growing more depressed over that <laughs> by the day. You ride in an automatic shifted car but you drive a manual shift. I said that. The True. vast majority of people in the United States rarely ever encounter a manual transmission car, and numbers suggest the stick shift is becoming only more obscure as time passes. Mm -hmm. The manual transmission is such a, an art, and, and it's, a, it's a method of driving that mm -hmm. many people just simply don't enjoy anymore because driving's more of a chore than anything. Okay, yeah. The, the okay. number of models in the US available with a manual transmission is falling every year. Less than 2% of cars sold in the United States in 2019 wow. came with one. So why does anyone care? So there you go. <laughs> I mean, we are exactly right. Yeah, I mean, how can y younger people drive a manual know how to drive it if there aren't any to drive? <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're not buying them, so they're not going to make them. They're not, so yeah. they're well, I think they're not making them. them. I think they stopped not making them because I, I mean, I remember, like I said, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. which wasn't that long ago, <laughs> it was in the 90s. Um, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but anyway, my, my point is that they're going to stop making them if nobody's buying them. Right. You know, I would notice, like I said, the V6 thing, but before that, I noticed less and less and less manual cars, mm -hmm. less That's options true. over the last 15, 20 years, especially it's been just doing this. Mm -hmm. That is exactly why you can't expect people to learn to do something if they don't have the thing to do it with and learn exactly. on. That was weird. You know that what I meant, true. right? Good question. Because they're fun. Throughout most of automotive history, nearly all cars on the road have run on gasoline or petrol powered engines. Thus, pretty much all cars were manual transmission and they remain common in some auto markets around the world. The advantages of manual transmissions are that they are totally mechanical and relatively simple. This has made them relatively inexpensive to produce and easy to fix. But a lot of drivers also like manual transmissions because they give a feeling of control and connectedness mm -hmm. to a car. Trouble with manual transmissions is that they require work, skill, and constant attention. And that mm -hmm. is why many people say they have fallen out of favor over time. Really? Just decades after the automotive industry began to grow, especially in Europe and the United States, companies began developing automatic transmissions. Like many <coughs> technologies in cars, automatic transmissions developed gradually over time. But a few significant developments in the 1930s and 1940s began to bring mass market automatic transmissions closer to reality. Chrysler introduced a direct ancestor to the automatic transmission called Fluid Drive for the 1939 model year. General Motors introduced another pivotal system called the Hydromatic Transmission for the 1940 model okay. year. This is commonly considered the first widely available fully automatic transmission. Okay. It was sold on Oldsmobiles and Cadillacs. There's Parts. no C because there's no clutch. No shifting, no work for the driver. Nothing difficult to learn, just some of the old driving habits to forget. At first, <laughs> the automatic transmission was a luxury, like many new technologies on cars. Think of it as something comparable in its day to certain cutting edge options found on cars today, such as advanced safety features, large heads up displays, or driver assistance systems. 
But over time, automatic transmissions became more available and more popular for reasons that probably seem obvious to drivers now. They were more convenient to use than manuals, especially in traffic or on hills, and didn't True. require any special instruction or practice. However, for a long time, they were also seen as less efficient and less precise than a good old stick shift. But that has changed. Automatic transmissions have become more sophisticated and better performing every year. Drivers in the past mm -hmm. have frequently complained that automatics could take too long to shift from one gear to the next. Oh, CBT. But many say newer systems are smoother and yep. more precise. These newer systems are typically controlled by computers and proponents say they can switch gears far faster than any human being could. Right, but you're still not These types apart. of technological leaps suggest the era of manual transmissions may be coming to a close, yeah. at least in developed automotive markets. So some of the tech and for the again, vast huh? majority of drivers, yep. the change appears to have been welcomed or mostly ignored. Customers in the market ignored. for a commuter car or family vehicle seem to have adjusted pretty well to the new reality. After all, if there were widespread demand for manual transmissions, say industry watchers, car makers would happily sell them. The demand just isn't mm -hmm. there. I think it's consumer demand. Even the consumer demand of the of the ultra wealthy, they don't necessarily want to have a manual transmission. Even for supercar enthusiasts, the enjoyment may not be there. No, 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 no. Yeah. She's wrong. <laughs> supercar enthusiasts in America absolutely still love their manual transmissions and they they would you would never get them to drive an automatic I, I would i would think so if if i had the money that i would want to have for all those super nice cars i'm driving a manual i'm buying me an old american muscle car not oh, actually a yeah. camaro per se <laughs> i'm a trans am girl true story but yeah i mean we both drive cbt transmission automatic mm -hmm. cars because it's what's available and um honestly after i had knee surgery um yeah there's i don't care about driving a manual yeah. anymore um but i got in my older age <laughs> i just want to get to where i want to get she's just insane though to say like the enthusiasts wouldn't they don't have the love yeah, for it. i would have to disagree with that but yeah she's wrong yeah. trust me <laughs> definitely oh man that's just funny no it's it's something that they would rather have ultimate acceleration ultimate torque for example, in 2006, 47% of the 305 car models sold in the U.S. offered standard or optional manual transmissions. But that number fell over time. Yeah. One decade later, only 27% of See, the told car wow. models yep. offered 2020. The number was just 13%. Wow. And now it's 2 However, some... I looked it up for you guys because I saw this video was a few years old. Uh -huh. It's 2%. That's incredible. That was actually of 2021, I think, the, the 2%. 2%. That's, that's just crazy. I know. It's 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 weird. I wonder if that'll happen in other countries. With mm. Car like, buyers do have will. strong opinions about the decline of manual transmissions, a category of consumer often known as the enthusiast. This includes fans of racing and off-roading, lovers mm. of European sports cars, and old supercars, classics. muscle cars, Thank and you. performance SUVs and trucks. The larger decline of manual transmissions has been felt by buyers more strongly in these areas of the market. Mm -hmm. The last several years have been witness to some remarkable decisions by car brands that cater to certain types of customers, especially those interested in sports cars or certain types of utilities. Take the famous supercar brand Ferrari, for example. The brand used to be widely known for its manual gearbox, but Ferrari said in 2016 it would stop producing any cars with manual transmissions. I didn't know that. British no. supercar maker McLaren doesn't offer manuals. Neither does Lamborghini. No McLarens? That just blows my mind. What? <laughs> just blows my mind. Did he say neither do Lamborghini? None? Yeah. Hold on. None. British supercar maker McLaren doesn't offer manuals, neither does Lamborghini. This has been one of the more brow-raising developments in the world of performance cars in recent yeah. years. Again, there are some purists, especially older ones, who insist there really is nothing like the experience of there isn't. a stick shift. Exactly. The steering wheel is one part of how you control the car, and the shifter is the other. Mm -hmm. um, there's three pedals. Okay, and my feet know what to do with those three pedals. I mm -hmm. am fully engaged in driving the vehicle. Mm -hmm. yes. What happens is the man-machine uh, interface, um, you become one with the car. 
but specs yes. from the manufacturers themselves suggest drivers can actually get comparable or more often better <coughs> performance from an automatic. Ooh. Buyers seem to increasingly feel that a manual transmission is no longer a necessity even in a sporty car. Yeah, that's wrong. I For example, sports sedan mm -hmm. Pioneer BMW ended production of manual transmission versions of some of its high really? performance that's M2 in 2016. cars prompting sadness among some longtime fans of the line and members of the automotive press. Interesting. Lamborghini's similar decision to stop offering manuals was also due to the lack of a business case for them. So don't mm. you agree though, at least like that options should be there. Again, I don't care anymore about that. <clears throat> I mean, I can't afford to buy the Lamborghini, the McLaren and the Ferraris. Hence, not right, knowing this car. before now. Please. Yeah, I, I miss the option. I think you should have the option. But I just think there should be the option, but for, yeah, Lamborghini, Ferrari, McLaren, like, what? what? I don't. Yeah, that just blows my mind. I don't understand Obviously, that. I haven't been in the market in the past few years. For a Lamborghini. But, you know. For a Lamborghini specifically. And don't forget, our P.O. Box description is. <laughs> <laughs> in other totally words, kidding. it is just too expensive to keep offering an option so few Lambo buyers want. Well, that's BMW true. BMW still sells manual transmission in a few of its cars, such as the M2 and the M3 and M4, smaller siblings to the now automatic only M5. Weird. Porsche still offers manual transmissions on some of its cars and has even added manual transmission options in recent years. That's surprising. American that's muscle cars and pony cars also still cater to the buyer looking for yeah. a stick shift. The Dodge Challenger, Ford Ooh. Mustang, Chevrolet Camaro, and the Corvette can all be bought with manuals. Challenger. Two <laughs> such cars are only available with a manual transmission, such as the Ford Mustang yep. Shelby GT350, yeah, which absolutely. as of February 2020 started at a price of $60,440. Drivers who want a Shelby without a stick will have to option up for the GT500, That's starting cool. at $72,900. That, that car can only be bought with an automatic. That's like The 2020 GT500 is the first one in the model's history that has not offered a manual option, another sign of the changing times. Mm. Likewise, General Motors' widely anticipated mid-engine Corvette will not have a manual option at all. Almost no pickup trucks sold in the U.S. come with a stick shift either. 2018 was really? the last model year any full-size truck came with a manual transmission option, and it was really? on the Ram 2500 with the well, Cummins diesel engine. Mid-sized pickup trucks, Mid -size wow. trucks with manuals include some versions of the Jeep Gladiator, Toyota Tacoma, and Nissan Frontier. Industry insiders who spoke to CNBC said they expect manual transmissions to continue to fade into obscurity, though they may hang around for a while on some performance cars. What is increasingly left is a range of automatic transmissions that attempt to capture some of the experience of a manual while offering the benefits of the new technology. First on the list are standard automatics. Some automatics are shiftable. There are also automated manuals, systems that are similar to manual transmissions and how they are built, but that function more like automatics. There are single clutch systems, which are now rare. Historic examples included the Smart 4.2 and BMW's SMG system. Far more common is the dual clutch transmission, sometimes abbreviated as DCT or DSG. Cars with shiftable automatics or dual clutch transmissions will often come with paddles mm -hmm. along the sides of the steering wheel which allow that. the driver to shift up and it's down stupid. in certain drive modes. It's a false freaking anything. <laughs> it's stupid. They're stupid. I've used it in the snow a couple times, but I'm like, mm. Yeah, I agree. <gasps> They're, they're, they're stupid. They're kind of do you guys have the same stuff that I, he's mentioning here over there? I'm assuming you do. I don't know. Because I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. Because you still yeah, have more yeah, manuals. Know. Let us know, please. Alternatively, the driver can slip the shifter into a different position yeah, it's and shift stupid. in a manner resembling a traditional stick shift. No, it doesn't Some really literal. Use continuously variable transmissions or CVTs. Mm -hmm. These transmissions feature a belt that slides back and forth on two smooth conical spools, constantly seeking the best balance of power and speed. CVTs have their critics, but they can be quite fuel efficient and are often found on cars with smaller engines. Mm. For now, drivers getting into a brand new car can usually expect to encounter a system like one of these. Despite this degree of choice, some enthusiasts say the disappearance of the manual stands to alienate a small but devoted portion of buyers who are a vital ingredient in American car culture. I believe that that okay. portion of the population is underserved and is in danger of being wiped out. But as this they trend are. away from manual mm. transmissions continues, enter another shift in engineering that stands to drastically alter the auto market. Electric cars. Ah. Because electric cars run on electricity rather than gasoline engines, mm -hmm. there is no need for varying speeds at all. There is no engine power band because there is no engine. 
an electric motor can deliver maximum torque at any speed. So low gears and high gears aren't needed. Okay. This is part of the reason electric cars can achieve quicker acceleration than internal combustion vehicles. Right now, electric cars are a tiny portion of the market, and industry observers think the internal combustion engine is going to be around in one form or another for several years to come. But yeah. automakers large and small are making big bets on electric vehicles, and they are increasingly trying to leverage the performance capabilities of electric what? power trains to lure <laughs> buyers. Electric vehicle technology is expensive, and many industry surveys show ordinary buyers still have a number of concerns about electric cars. Mm -hmm. They take longer to charge yes. than it takes to fill a fuel tank. Many drivers are also concerned about having reliable and convenient access to charging, whether at home or on the road. But electrics already surpassed one group of cars in sales in 2019. Manual. Manual transmission vehicles. Mm. Okay. Well, that was informative. Yeah. And yet, there's no one answer to things, but, you know, again, supply and demand, right? Yep. Um, at least for over here. Um, but I didn't realize in the first video that the manuals were, you know, so declining as well in the UK and Europe. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, and he's like, the way he said it, it sounded like they would only be around for like another 20 years. That's it. You know, in 2030, they're going to be pretty much not being made. From manufacturing, yeah. Been around for maybe another 10 years or so. And that's just, that's really surprising. Um, it is. A lot of this was surprising. A lot of things are changing. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if they're for the better or not. I don't know. Um, like I said, for me, yeah. either way, I'm fine with whatever I'm driving. I don't care as long as it's a safe vehicle. I like, I've become that weird practical person. <laughs> I do mm. still enjoy driving a manual shift. Well, yeah, of course. Because it's just because you're driving fun. <laughs> I mean, I look again. As long as you're driving a, a car that you like, it shouldn't matter what you drive. Um, mm -hmm. Personal opinion. I don't know. That's what do you, right. Yeah. Let, let us know your thoughts on this today, guys. Um, first of all, what do you drive? Would love to know. Yes. I'm really, the whole McLaren thing not being a manual. I didn't know that. I mean, I've never driven one. No. Uh, but that surprised me. Mm -hmm. It surprised me a lot. And then the, all the stuff with the Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Yeah, there's too. two brands. It was yeah. just. That's just crazy. But I do say we go out and we find a manual car to test drive this weekend. The test drive? Yeah. Oh, just to play with it, you mean? Yeah, it's a good drive. Okay, around. deal. We'll do that. <laughs> Maybe they'll be on Patreon. <laughs> no, that's a bad idea. <laughs> there will be no video, no, no, fil no footage of this. It never happened. Um, we hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and consider uh, subscribing to the channel and hit that like button for us. We'll be back on Sunday, don't forget. And then Magic Monday. Yes, don't forget the Magic Mondays. Uh, until next time. Please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye. Bye.